guys, today we'll be remaking this scene from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, completely free in Blender and DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's just get started and jump into Blender. First I added a cube into my scene and then I subdivided it 6 times with the Subsurf modifier. This is going to act as Spider-Man's body. Then I selected Sculpt Mode and chose the Clay Strips brush to displace the geometry where the neck, arms and legs will go. Then I press G and use the grab tool to pull out the arms, legs and head so it starts looking more like Miles' body. Make sure you have x-axis mirroring turned on and make sure to have reference photos in your scene because these will be crucial for you to get a result that looks good as without them you're going to be sculpting what you think Spider-Man looks like and not what he actually looks like. I kept using the grab and the clay strips brushes to mold the mesh into looking more like Miles and I used the smooth and inflate brushes to make the mesh look less jagged and also to increase the definition of the muscles. I find that sculpting is a continuous process that requires constant refinement. This sculpt took me roughly 2 hours to make. When the faces get too stretched, add a decimate modifier and set it to around 0.2 to remove excess faces, then add a subsurf modifier of 2. This makes sure that the faces that make up the 3D model of Miles are all of a similar size, making it easier to sculpt. Next I started modelling the city from cubes, using inset loops and extruding out the faces. I just tried to match the shape of the buildings to the one shown in the reference. Then I went back into sculpt mode and used the paint tool to texture paint Miles. I just painted the base colours because Miles is so far back that you actually won't be able to see the detail. To make the textures show up in the render, add in a color attribute node and plug it into the base color, then add in an image texture. To select the image texture and create a new one, and then change the render engine to cycles, and then choose the bake option and select diffuse to bake the color attribute to the image texture. To pull Miles into place, we first have to rig make a rig for him. Export the model as an FBX, making sure only selected objects is checked, then upload the FBX to Mixamo website, then use the auto rigger and place the markers in the correct position, then download the model. Next, import the FBX download from Mixamo to Blender. The rig mostly works, however as you can see, when I move Miles' arm, his, some parts of his body move with it. To fix this problem, I just switch to weight paint mode, set the weight value to zero, and I use the weight gradient tool by holding alt and dragging with my mouse to remove the weights of the areas that shouldn't have any. To texture the buildings, I only used a Voronoi texture, set to the shabby shab mode. This texture was used for the colour of the buildings and the roughness and the normal inputs by plugging it into a bump map. For the lighting, I just used a few coloured areas to highlight the buildings, but I noticed that in the back of the city, there were patches of cyan, magenta and yellow lights, and I wanted to capture that kind of dreamy look. To do so, I added a plane, and then I used a Voronoi texture and plugged it into a colour ramp, which went into a mix shader to control what would be emitting light and what would be transparent. I duplicated the black layer of buildings and deleted all the materials on it, and added a similar material to what I just described, so it looks out of focus. I once saw in a documentary behind the making of Star Wars that the way they gave the massive ships a sense of scale was through the use of lights, so I applied the same principle to the buildings here. I also selected some of the faces and gave them a miss of materials. Once that was done, I was finished with everything in Blender, so I rendered out the animation in .exr files. There's a great tutorial on why you should use .exr files instead of PNGs by Polyford that I'll link down below. I then went into the compositing tab in Blender. 
I first lowered the exposure of the frames, and then added a glare node, set to Gaussian blur. This gives the nice blurry light look for the city. I then added a separate colour node, and translated the red and green channels of the frames, by a few pixels. This achieves the effect of chromatic aberration, which is used frequently throughout Into the Spider-Verse. While it looks much better now, the animation still isn't done. There's one final step, which is colour correction, in DaVinci Resolve. Now, I used to think that colour correction didn't make that much of a difference, but now I understand that it can really bring out the best in your renders. I imported the .exr files as an image sequence, and then made sure they had the two LUTs enabled, that would restore the filament view that we saw in the render that I exported from Blender. Again, if you have trouble understanding this part about the LUTs, I encourage you to watch the video by Polyfold. Now, with that out of the way, you can get to the final step of colour correction. I tweaked the offset value to make it a little darker, and to accentuate the blues just a little bit. I then just played around with the shadows and the highlights to give it a bit more contrast. And with that, I'll give you the final result. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to the channel. And with that, I'll let you get on with the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.